Alright guys, here's an update on the 68 Suburban that I've been working on. As you can see, I finally got the flywheel off after working at it for 9 months. But for the longest time, I've always thought that the bottom part of the ignition was bad and not the top part. Well, I am to believe that it's actually the opposite. Um, thanks to the Ed Stroller website, I uh, printed it off. and um, So I've been using that as like a manual. Here's the link. I don't know if you want to guys, you guys can pause that and type that in. Or actually, I'll put the link in the description below. But um, what you want to do is you want to use your ohm meter and you want to turn it on the ohms. And that's how you're going to measure it. Now, I, I don't want to risk doing uh, screwing anything up because I'm I only have one hand here. But on on your um, your ground there, I'm going to put one pro uh, one one prong in the ground. Try and hold this and do this at the same time here. I'm going to take the other the other one, my negative. I'm going to put that. There we go. Put that to this uh, to the bolt here that holds the black electronic module on there. Electronics module. And you should read nothing because there's a little nylon bushing right at the tip of my uh, prong there. But if I go from the wire here, I I I I get a good. You should get a good reading. I don't. It says in the. It'll say in there, in the in the booklet. Then um, another one that you want to do is from the uh, the coil from, from the edge of the, from the wire from, from the end of the wire up there down to where the, the coil box here where it grounds right down there that you want, you also want to check it down there. Now I'm actually have it in positive, so I'm going to check this. But see, this is what it has to say here, and I did do some highlighting on there. And you guys can pause that and read that if you need to. Here we go, I'm going to turn it a little bit so you can see better. But, yeah, so you can pause that and check that. But then to check the top part, which is what a lot of people don't know how to do because it's not very clear. You're going to take one of your, one of, the, one of your terminals, and you're going to check... The, the wire that you plug in from this wire here that comes out of the, the back of it that plugs into the, the prong here on the side of the uh, electronics module you're going to put your positive on there or negative whatever and then you're going to put the other one just to the backing plate, the metal backing plate and you should read around I believe it's 900 ohms in which I do and then you should be able because that's and the reason why it's in this shape is because right here there's one smaller coil that goes from this wire that goes, then the other one end is in the wire, the other end is this plate, and then the step up, the transformer is pretty much a step up coil because then there's a bigger winding up here, and that goes from the plate to, to your spark plug wire. And the problem with mine is when I put mine inside the spark plug wire, here you can just barely see it there, the shiny part. When I touch it in there, and I touch the plate, so when I Put my, I'm just going to put my positive on the plate there. And I do that and I read it and I put it in there. I, re I read nothing. Matter of fact, I, this one I can do for you guys. Yeah, see? Nothing. It's not reading anything. Take it off. Put it back on there. Nothing. If I don't get a reading no matter what, so... What I'm going to do is what I actually suggest doing. I'm pretty sure um, you have someone in your household or in your family that sews. And if you get like one of those sewing pins or a sewing needle, put it in a pair of pliers and you push it through like the, like what I'm going to do is where this is, there's this insulation thing, I'm going to slide it up or down. And I'm going to put a pin right through the middle. And then that way you can uh, um, put your wire in the ground. So you can have one on the ground and then you have the other one. I don't have the other one in my hand. But it'll touch it to that pin that'd be sticking out through the through the uh the side of the wire. And if you if you're reading a if you're reading a connection, you try it down towards the tip, and if you're still getting a connection, that means it's the part that's in here, the the connector that's bad. And if that's bad, where's the part number? It's in here somewhere where it show it tells you what, what part you need to what part you need to order. Um, shoot, where'd it go?
Oh, here it is. Uh, where, where do we want to be? There we go, right in the center screen. Screen there. So it says Briggs and Stratton Part Four Nine Three Eight Eight O S or Six Six Five Three Eight S or the Stens model number One Three Five Dash O Eight One. So I hope this helps. If you have any other questions or requests, please comment below. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another update soon.